Coffee delivery. Thank you so much. Wow. You guys like the coffee plants? That is cute. Brother and sister eating things. Low coffee plants. And we are starting to plan for the next adventure over here. We got all the backpacking gear out. And Graham wants to go too, huh? You go yeah, yeah, you crazy guy. Are you gonna be like this in a tent? You know, it's not really hard sided. You can't really claw up a tent, you know. Sombrita, un paseo. Oh, she loves that stuff. <laughs> but here, yeah, we're gonna start packing up. The weather looks good tomorrow. This is our tent, a lightweight backpacking tent. I think it's a two person tent, basically a one person tent. <laughs> we've shared it with the dog before, but the cat. I think she's gotten bigger since we've shared it with her though. Um, we don't have to use this. This is a bear canister for your food. Yeah. We won't need that, that's awesome. Yeah. This will be what we'll store our food in, which you can't hang over a tree. And there's the shower we keep in the van. <laughs> This is our van shower. Yeah, you can use this thing to boil water super fast, really easy. That's how you make dehydrated foods, which is probably all we'll bring. All right, well, I'll show you guys our backpacks over here. So this is Danny's, it's the Gossamer Gear backpack. It's super, super lightweight. It has a frame, but it's like almost nothing because this is the only zipper that he has on his entire backpack, which I think is pretty sick. Um, this is my old backpack. It's an Osprey backpack. I think that honestly it was too small for me. <laughs> the hip belts were way too tight. It just made hiking with it on like pretty uh, rough. This is my new backpack that I just got whenever I went back to Philly. It's so light it doesn't even have a name on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's called Hyper Light Mountain Gear. Cool. It's from REI. It's actually REI Garage, so it was about $150 cheaper than it should have been. Some returned it. I'm not sure why they returned it, but what's really nice about it is that the hip belts are really flexy, and I got measured for it at REI, so it actually fits really well this time. So, and the only zippers on mine are right here, so it is like a crazy light bag, and it really is going to help me get farther out there. <laughs> And then, now we have Sombrita's backpack! It's by Roughwear. She, this is going to be her first backpacking trip with it on. We have taken her on hikes with it on and we got her used to carrying stuff. But this probably will be the heaviest trip that she'll take. So we're really excited to all get out and out there. Yeah, this will be our first backpacking trip in South America. As you can see, we still need a new map. Are you sure you don't want to bring this? <laughs> Okay, you guys, we'll continue getting ready and we'll catch you in the morning for our first backpacking trip. How about you? You ready for a walk? Are you gonna be a hiker today? I'm gonna go up a mountain, my boy. You coming with? Backpacks. <laughs> Already this road is looking like a challenge for the van. That's kind of our MO. Drive the van as far as it can go and then walk. Start now with an incredible view. Can't wait to see how this turns out. Kitty's first backpacking trip. <laughs> He's a good boy. You gonna go for the walkie? Good boy. <laughs> He's probably already gone half a kilometer. 
and we just pick them up whenever there's water. You can just sit like that for a minute. So we're heading up Cerro Kennedy and it's a part of a range that is the highest coastal mountain range in the world. And a part of this mountain range is also the tallest mountain in Colombia. Pico Cristóbal Colón. <laughs> yeah, and that's the goal. See it. Ooh. Cool. I thought I found a shortcut. Ended up being a guy building a coffee plantation. Took us the wrong way. At the end of the road, when it came in, became a guy building a house, he said, nope, this ain't the right way. <laughs> Fortunately, they walked us back a little ways and they said, hey, look, this is the shortcut up. We don't have to walk on the road for a little ways. Should be making quicker upward progress, but it's an adventure. What did he say about Graham? Oh, a cat that hikes. I said, yep, he goes everywhere. Oh boy, Grammy. Pretty incredible that this cat will hike. I feel like he's one of the most incredible cats in the world, but he's mine, so I'm biased. <laughs> well, I had to stop to figure out whether my water wasn't coming out. Thankfully, it wasn't leaking. But look at this little boy. <laughs> Just sitting here quietly waiting with us. Graham, you're the best backpacker I could ever hope for. I really didn't think you'd be this good. Chica. You wanna see the shortcut, babe? So, here, there's this really long switchback of the road. You oh, see? Yeah. And we're just cutting, so we're like more than halfway oh, sick. Uh, to that switchback. Yeah. Oh wow, so we made it back to the road. That's awesome. Woo. Oh, so glad we came back on the road. I was a little worried about that shortcut. Graham is like being the best. Well, he's definitely not gonna win any awards for speed, but considering he's a cat, he's hiking really well. We're up in the cloud forest now. Beautiful, mossy, up in the mist. Look at all this moss. Feels really good up here in the clouds. A little bit of fog and the temps are nice. Slow and steady. It's starting to rain, but we got these ponchos. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. Poncho, poncho, poncho. Looks like it stopped raining a little bit. Still a little misty. We're super impressed that Graham's walking this far. Usually he'll go like a mile or something, but we've already gone four and a half miles and he's probably walked at least two of them. That should help because we are worried how he's gonna be in the tent. I bet he's gonna be good. I think all four of us are going to be pretty content in the tent. I think it helps that Sombrita's here too because he's just one of the pack trying to keep up with the whole fam. Buena chica Sombrita! And even better that she can carry weight now. It's gone better than I expected. The views would be epic if this wasn't misty but that's what we're trying for in the morning. You know, get up here, you can't avoid this. But in the morning it should be clear and should be able to see the snow snow peaked mountains. Pretty incredible this close to the equator. Mm -hmm. oh, there's something up here. San Lorenzo. Wow, we're making it somewhere. Yeah, where are we? Still with the foggy view that would be epic. It says it's a sanctuary of harlequin frogs. And this is the uh, Estacion San Lorenzo. You can stay here, but you have to reserve it beforehand. Looks really pretty up there. And then we're gonna keep heading up from here. Cat's out of the bag now. This is like probably the craziest experience I've ever had hiking or backpacking. Right now, we've created this shelter with our tarp. It's freezing. And it's raining like insane. Sombrita, super afraid of lightning always. We're kind of huddling in here for warmth. It's not an ideal tarp situation, but uh, 
Wow. So cool. We'll get back to you later. I hope. Well, there is our... <laughs> 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 wow, this has become less of a river, more of a little stream. Oh, yeah, Sombrita, jeez, she, she wanted to go hide over there. We were like, get over here. Oh, my. Yeah, oh, my gosh. I look at it from here, you know? Yeah, I mean, I could have done a better job on that one. But I think uh, that's honestly the first time I've ever done that. So, you know, and it was raining hard when we were putting it up. So, oh. It's already a river by the time we put it up. Whew, what about that, huh, babe? Well, I'm ready to walk. <laughs> So pretty, that was insane, huh? Oh, at one point, lightning was like right there. That scared you, huh? It was really, really, really loud. It was like right above us. Well, she's smart. She's going to need to help her. Okay, yeah, let's see what we can do here. Goodbye, homemade lean to. Wow, that was scary. We thought we were like gonna die. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're not out of the jungle yet. <laughs> okay, let's go get to some safety, huh? Wow, so we're gonna be crossing this stream. But wow, look at this wall here. Gorgeous. Sight for sore eyes. And this road is gnarly. People drive up this. Wow. Oh. Our first view. Thunder. But I don't know, I mean, it's over there and like over here is so clear. I think we'll be okay. We better keep moving, huh? We're definitely entering a new area now. There's not really trees. It's more of these uh, ferns and mosses. So here's the first set of towers. Nice cave-in on the road here. Wow, this is getting gorgeous. Over there is Tyrona National Park in the ocean. That's continuing up. And here, what do we have? We can see there's just houses up and down this hill and also these wax palms on the side. These wax palms are supposed to be super tall, special palm trees. Yeah, like Emily was saying, down there there's houses and then it gets completely flat. It's like an island of mountains. And over there would be the tallest mountain in Colombia. So we're hoping in the morning we get to scope that view, but that's Cristobal Colon. And it's right behind these, these clouds here. So now we have to decide if we want to sleep here. <laughs> a little rocky, I think. Bit of a cliff. <laughs> we, could, we could put the tent there. Yeah. Other than that, another mile, there should be a good spot. Oh, Grammy's walking again. Little mountaineering cat. Yeah, he was ready. And in other news, we did decide to press on to the last wild camp on iOverlander up here, which it seems some people have driven to pretty gnarly. Where we're going was a mile from back there, and it should be a kilometer from the end of the road, which is actually a military base. I just really want to see these snow peaked mountains right by the ocean and the tallest mountain in Colombia. It sure makes it all worth it once you get up here and it's just a completely different world. So quiet. You can just let your brain reset. And we knew this would be coming thanks to I Overlander. Nice little camp spot that they've said no camping, we're protecting biodiversity. Oh, this is the end. Oh, there's the antennas. <laughs> Whoa, so close. That is the tallest mountain behind there, up in the clouds. Somebody has a lookout up here, and the end is right up there. I can't believe we made it this far. So this is a bird sanctuary here. 
How you doing, Emily? Great, I'm light as a feather. <laughs> <laughs> and up here you can see those wax palms. They're super tall palm trees that can get up to 200 feet. And we're nearing our spot for the night, so whew, all is right with the world. So there is the name of the hike. Cerro Kennedy, a military base up at the very peak. Incredible that we've made it this far. It turned out to be about 10 miles, most nearly up. We managed to get a spot here. Our shelter's looking a lot better than earlier. Now we'll get set up, have some dinner, and get in the tent. Ooh, beautiful sunset, but it's a bit dampened by the rain. <laughs> oh, so we got the tent in there. Still kind of fine tuning things. Oh, rainbow! Wow, we did it. We got safe from the rain. Actually stopped raining now, but it's getting really cold. But we got everything inside, waterproof, shelter, double waterproof because the tent is kind of old. <laughs> so we thought we'd double up with the tarp. Emily, you loving it in there? I do. So she's getting it ready to towel off the doggo while I enjoy the sunset for one last moment. Oof, but geez, I can't wait to get warm. Oh, okay, Mama Sombrita. We'll have four life forms in here. Oh, I'm gonna get in that sleeping bag. I'm gonna eat whatever's easiest <laughs> and fall asleep. Remy, my dinner? Come here, buddy. Okay, Sombrita. She ate all the food so good. Yeah, Sombrita's done this before, but for Graham, this is like super trippy right now, I bet. <laughs> He's looking around at the tent like, what is going on? But I think he's happy he's with us. He's been in a good mood. He's been walking. He's been really good behavior. Mm -hmm. Buena chica, you did a big hike. She looks so oh tired. Oh my gosh, your eyes are just blowing. Sombrita found her happy place. Oh, here's our feast. We got a three course feast. <laughs> Potatoes. Mmm. Some soy veggie protein stuff that's really good smell to it. And stuffing, Emily loves stuffing. <laughs> I could eat anything. I know. It's really hot. I mean, the food is hot. Okay. Yum, yum, yum. Mashed TVP and stuffing. How is it? Mm, super tasty. Yeah, I'm so stoked. I'm gonna eat all of this in 10 seconds. <laughs> snow-capped mountains. The ocean and snow-capped mountains right there. Good morning. <sighs> Let's try and get some more sleep before we go for another long, long walk. What do you think, Grammy? You gonna go back in the tent now? He loved it. Trying to dry the boots out. Dry the things out. Emily's making us some brekkie. This little guy's been chasing butterflies all morning. I love sleeping in the tent. Now that it's not raining and we can look at our shelter, I think we did a pretty awesome job considering it was raining and we were pretty hot. We were starving, honestly. Yeah, I think, you know, that's a lot better than the midday one that they, <laughs> they still put up while it was pouring and lightning. <sighs> yeah, we it was still raining when we put up this one, so. Yeah, we did an awesome job. Yeah. We got it tied up with the um, poles and also with some rope that we brought. <laughs> yeah. We'll definitely be doing more trips in this tent. I love it. I love this tent. 
Yeah, next time I just want to bring more rope for more shelters. Yeah, <laughs> and a lighter. The okay. starter, oh, yeah, one of those starter. electric starters, or it's a push button. Yeah. And it don't work, so. It stopped working. But luckily I brought matches that worked really well last night. So we had a nice, enormous dinner last night. That was great, but, but this morning we're having cold coffee. But that's, that's chill. okay. That's it's chill. Okay. We still got the same ingredients in there, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, my Fitbit said that it was 10 miles. Right. According to the photo metadata, using my photo metadata app, the photo, photo investigator, <laughs> um, where we started was about uh, 5,000 elevation and here we're at like 8,600. Um, I get the numbers a little off. So it was basically 3,800 feet of elevation gain, but there were some ups and downs. So, I mean, that, you know, the hike I saw online, it said 6,000, but I think that's going up to the final bit. But the final bit is just a military base anyway, so. I was so nervous about Graham, if he was gonna be able to sleep in the tent and he was amazing. He cuddled with me. I really loved cuddling with him all night. He was my little heater. Here he comes. And then this morning is the other thing I was a little nervous about, like how would he be at camp? And he's just wandering around right next to the van. <laughs> right next to the tent. Yeah. He went to the bathroom outside. Yeah. Like, I'm just so impressed with this cat. Yeah. It's it's been really awesome having having Graham. Like, yeah. Oh my gosh, he's just like the cutest thing ever. He was like more cuddly than ever. Yeah, and we I also brought his harness and his leash just in case he was a little unruly. But honestly, don't really need it. He's been awesome. Success, even after that near death freezing oh. cold yesterday. Jeez. He seems like such a good. He's like really unfazed by that somebody that i think was a little scared but graham i don't think he even i think he took a nap Ooh, thank goodness there's some sun we can dry everything out get packed up and get back to the van stuff's drying So we're all packed up. We've wandered around their campsite a bunch of times, made sure that there's nothing that we've left behind. Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna be able to do this a lot more often with some Brita in her backpack. And now we know that we can bring Graham and he's okay in a tent. I'm stoked for the future. Yeah. Well, let's head out. 10 miles. Found a two can. It looks like she found our little shelter area. Buena chica. This is where we were huddled. <laughs> wow. I would have walked right by. I was like, somebody, what are you stopping for? I know, yeah, we weren't thinking. We weren't gonna stop. Wow. Yesterday here was the craziest moment of the trip. <laughs> Fingers crossed, nothing else crazy happens. I know. Yeah, look at the road compared to yesterday. It's completely dry. Completely dry. And yesterday, this was a river, and we hastily built a shelter here, huddled together for warmth. We were freezing. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Graham didn't make a peep the whole time, but whoa, that was like the craziest thing that's ever happened to me hiking. I know, I think that was a little a little too intense. <laughs> that was type two fun. I'm obviously not afraid of thunder, but it was the thunder was so close 
that I like shook, like I was shaking. It was scary. Yeah. And even like, you know, in Sombrita's mind, I can't even imagine what she was thinking. She was probably freaked out. We were all pretty scared and I had to just rally and decide I'm gonna stand in the rain and make the shelter better, tie each corner off. Whew, man, and we were able to survive, but now it's starting to rain. Let's get out of here. Yeah, let's make some good time. Yeah. Get back to the van. Whoa, and this is like just below. I feel like I heard something yesterday loud over here when we were huddled in there. Oh my what? Good thing we didn't drive up. Oh my gosh. Holy. Yeah. I told you guys that was a crazy storm. You think up and over that way is a good idea? Wow, looks like it was a landslide. All these trees came down. Yeah, I think I'll follow Sembrita. Oh, buena chica. Oh my gosh. I really did think that was an intense downpour. Jeez, and then, so this guy, I wonder if he ended up walking from here. That's the. <laughs> That's down the street from the van. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to get these shoes off. It's so red. Oh man, this backpack is killing me. Here's the van. The van. Uh, I've tried not to think this thought, but you always worry a bit about the van, especially after the window got broken in Panama. Yeah. But. Uh, don't see any broken glass or anything so far. This is the big moment we've all been waiting for. Oh. Ooh, everything looks fine to me. Yeah, babe, Yay. we did it. So after our first two days backpacking 10 miles and bringing our cat Graham with us and it being ex pretty successful, we're gonna go get a massive feast. So we'll see you guys next time. See ya.